So now we have all the features selected for my data A, B, and C, and also the dimensions and perpendicularity done. So now I have four slots here, and I should be creating position for those four, four slots. So though, so far we've been using features under annotation. So for a change, I would like to show an annotation feature also for in this case, it would be a perfect example. So let me pick annotation feature. And I can select dimensions from here, which again pops up the references for surface. I can go ahead and select That just instantly popped up the dimension for that. So I'm going to middle mouse click to place it. So again, even though you create annotations or GDNT inside the annotation feature dialog, the edit dialog would going to be the same thing. But the only difference is the reference is hidden. So now I'm going to select the tolerance type to be symmetric here. I'm going to give um, 0.5 again and going to left click. So now, in this case, I just created the slot on just one slot here, but I should have other features also selected for this slot, which is I'm going to add additional references using the annotation feature dialog. So once that is created, I need to come back. Here, cancel. While you're doing that, Priya, yep. does, uh, oh, you can keep yeah. going. Um, does Creo tell you if you create a GDT that requires features and you forgot to fill in the feature? No, not necessarily, so, uh, because they don't really worry about the features references. And they then what will happen is we will extract it, yeah, and we will have no features. Yeah, but that, that's an again good thing. I mean, in DCS, even though we extract feature, even though we extract GDT without any features in it, we can just use our own GDT dialog to fix it by just go ahead and right. um, selecting features from our dialog. So that's one thing. I just feel like that's going to be a mistake. Is there, a, is there a quick way to check for that? Yeah, when you just, after you complete it, you can just go ahead and uh, click it from the Creo tree to see the features getting highlighted for each GDNT that you created. Or another way of doing it is when you bring it into 3D CS, we can hit validate, mm -hmm. which will list you all the information that you have missed for the GDNT. Oh, great, so you can just so, extract it with the one button extraction, push it validate, will, and it'll figure it will it out get for caught you. somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Great. Three D C S will catch it. When you were selecting the features, I saw that you selected the inside surfaces. Yeah. Did it matter if it was inside surface or outside surface? It depends on how the model is going to assemble. So I need the inside features to be tolerance for the, my assembling process. Because it's the outside cover. Right. And it's I mean, the inside surfaces that are going to be interfacing. Mating with the other parts. So I, that, that's one the reason why I picked the inside surface. Okay. Yeah. So here I'm middle of creating a dimension on a slot. So I just created the slot uh, dimension for one slot here, and I have additional three slots to be added. So I can go ahead and select item under surfaces, and I can simply control select all other features that I have for the slot. So I'm going to pick that, control the other one. So while she's doing that, she could write four separate size tolerances for each slot, or she can write one size tolerance, pick all those features, and tolerance all four slots. You just have to make sure that you're picking your features in the correct order. Yeah. So once I completed my all selection, I need to go under this dialog, which says details, which will list all the features that I've selected. So now I have six which is for three slots and another two from the references so once all that's done it looks good okay so i selected that so now this dimension here need more editing so what i what can be done so now you completed the uh, dimension that you created so from the annotation feature dialog just to go back into the datum i'm sorry the dimension tab you need just to click properties which will again pop up the dimension tab where you can go ahead and do any further editing for this. So as this dimension applies for four slots, I need to mention that somewhere in the GDNT notes. So I'm going to use dimension text where I can add additional information saying, so this is for four slots. 
hit OK, and that instantly popped up in the graphics, and it shows. So I just that's when that's done, I'm going to do a left click and to close that tab, and it's back to my annotation feature dialog. So when as I completed the dimension, the next thing I would be doing is to to the, create the position for those slots. So from here, you still have a geometric geometric tolerance button inside the annotation feature dialog itself. So I can click that. It's just going to do the same thing. So the first thing I need to put the reference. Once that's there, I need to change the type to position. I'm OK with the uh, tolerance value. The one thing is I need to select the datum C. I'm going to pick the C and hit OK, and C is there. So once that's done, it looks good. Left click to place the GDNT. Come back to the annotation feature dialog to select your additional features for references. So in this case, you can see there is no features so far selected because it was placed under the dimension. I'm going to do a reference collector. This time, I'm going to show how to create the references under the reference collector. So I'm going to pick again all the features. Free and not to throw you a curveball. Do you want to pick all the features except one slot? The last slot, don't pick it. So okay. when we extract it, we get the yeah, sure. validation error uh, in but, 3DCS. Yeah, but 3DCS will show if there is no feature selected. But we still have features. Oh. Yeah, that, so I was thinking it's OK. Yeah, I can Sorry. show you a different example because we need to create a surface profile oh. now. I can leave that without creating a OK, without yeah. picking a feature. Right. So again, okay, let me just control. I was just trying to. Uh, um, I was trying to eliminate having to do so much duplication. We mm -hmm. should have had this example with like one slot and one hole, <laughs> and another hole with position of columns. So now I have all the features selected for the position. So I'm just going to click OK. It's done. So OK. So I, as Gary asked for um, a validation error, so I'm going to just use the same annotation feature. So once you close it and you again go ahead, go ahead and do click an annotation feature, it will create a new folder for you. So this will like keep on adding information and makes your tree looks bigger. So if you just want to avoid that and you want to use the same annotation feature, you can just select that, right click, and say uh, edit definition, which will pop up the same annotation feature right. dialog. And you can keep editing the existing one instead of creating annotation feature dialog for every new GDNT that That's you make. Good note. So I'm using the same one. And again, I'm going to pick that and place it right there. Mm. Change the symbol. Change the symbol to uh, surface profile, 1 and ABC. It looks good. Uh, still, I don't think. OK, I can just go ahead and. Uh, <laughs> now you're making a break here. Yeah. yeah, but I'm trying to make right. a break. But don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah. Um, so because she placed that note right on the surface, surface it yeah. automatically grabbed the surface. But yeah, as you said, Gary, the other example would be a great. I mean, the position as I place the GDNT frame under the dimension, that would be a, would have been a great example. Right. But That's as okay. we missed it, so OK. Don't let me mess you up. <laughs> All right. Then I, I, I think I can do the GDT in Creo already. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to control select the other surfaces. And OK. So again. Can you just delete the references to one of your others? Mm, yeah, but you can't re delete the references that where you place the leader line, but you can right. delete the additional so, references. Right. OK. Like, I and can Yeah, for that one, but I meant like one of your previous GDMTs that, that you attach to an existing feature callout. Can you just go there and delete? Yeah. We, could, we could, but you'd have to delete all of the surfaces for the slot. Oh, OK. Yeah, let's, all right. Let's and our that. validation is only when we have no surfaces. So. All right. So. Yeah, you can just go. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's done. and. <laughs> So OK, so all right, so now I have this. And I, as I showed you a way to edit, add notes for a dimension GDNT. Uh, so for a frame, you can also do the same thing. I need to go under here, 
So this is my profile. I'm going to do the properties, which will open the tab for the geometric tolerance. I can say additional text. So this is my frame. I can go ahead and add. This is for three surfaces that I made. So I'm going to say three surfaces. And that will be added right away under my frame. So then that's done. I'm going to click OK. So as all my GDNT is created now successfully. So now in, if, if you're a Creo 3 user, I think there will be little difficulties in moving around the frame because every time you need to click on the uh, frame and you need to open the dialog, say move, select a location, then you need to move. But in, in Creo 4, it makes our work easier. Like I can just click on that and you can see the cursor just drag and drop wherever you want to place it. So if you're a Creo 3 user and move to Creo 4, this would be a great time saver if <laughs> so, it's just a note. So that's done, so we need to go back. So yeah. Good, good to know, I'm going to Creo 4. Yeah. So I have all the GDNT created successfully, so now I need to go back to the assembly. Coming back here, 